6.53. Oh, why is the lighting doing that? We haven't even started yet. Let me just show you the background, guys. <laughs> so the middle computer, this one is the one that I work from. That is my work computer. This one is my... No, this one is my computer. No, this one is my computer. Trying out a new editing software on this laptop to see if it will be able to accommodate the software because the software you need a lot of space and a strong laptop that is why i was using my husband's laptop to edit my videos on but because he has a lot of it software on there that takes up a lot of space i, I thought i'll clean my laptop and see if the if the vinci resolve will work better on there but i wanted to document something now as you guys can see my hair is not done and there's a specific reason i am currently i actually didn't know about this the curly hair method i haven't um totally researched it but there's basically specific methods that you can use to treat your hair to keep it healthy especially when you have curly hair the reason i also want to document this is because i'm currently using rice water on my hair and as you can see i haven't done anything i haven't styled my hair I haven't put heat on my hair for like the past two three days and I want to measure my hair before I investigate the curly hair method and see how much it grows while I'm using the ice water method so we're gonna be testing it out and I want to document it to see the exact results so what I'm gonna do is we are going to measure a strand from the back and then a strand from the front because I don't know why but my front hair is always shorter than my back hair it's, oh actually I do know why because it, it's the most exposed that's why your hair the front is always more dry it's brittle it breaks easy that's why I want to measure my hair in front to see the length of it at the back and then maybe we'll see in the middle as well Okay guys, so what I'm quickly doing is I'm researching the curly hair method because I actually want to see what it is. As you can see, my hair has, it generally has curls like the ones at the bottom here. Since I've, I've started using rice water for two days now and I see that it has straightened my hair, I just like how my hair feels it feels more soft since i've started using the rice water so that's kind of awesome because normally i'm very skeptical guys i tried the oil cleansing maybe i'll try it with another type of oil i have a very dry skin i tried the oil cleansing with castor oil and normally they will people will have oil plugs that come out but i didn't have anything so i thought why not try on my husband's skin because he has oily skin and I think that was the worst idea I had because I feel really guilty at the moment because the next day he like had a big big pimple on the side of his head a lot of people have complained that the oil cleansing is not for everybody it sometimes does cause or like 50% of the comments that I saw in people's videos that did the oil cleansing it showed that it's not for everybody some people had severe breakouts and what i've learned from this is that i should do my research research properly so i felt pretty bad about that i was so excited about the oil cleansing and then that happened let me just quickly watch your video and then see what they say series and the first one was all about how to transition your hair from damage from heat and color or bleaching or just overheat styling and stuff to actually naturally curly hair and how to go about that process to transition it to healthy curly hair and get back to your natural it's extremely important to use the curly girl method in your products and that basically means that you want to avoid sulfates silicones and there's some other ingredients like alcohols and parabens okay, so the first thing that they said that you should avoid is sulfates and silicones so let's quickly check that Okay, so I'm currently using Pantene. I used Tresemme previously, but then I decided to switch it up. So in here we have Aqua Sodium Lauryl Sulfate. I don't know. Sodium Lauryl Sulfate. 
uh, Coca My Do Propyl Betaine. I'm probably mispronouncing that, but that's fine. Sodium citrate, sodium xylen, xylen, xylen sulf sulfonate, sodium chloride, perfume, citric acid, sodium benzoate, hydro, hydro, okay, so there definitely is sulfate in this. This is the shampoo. There's alcohol in the conditioner, Steer, sterile alcohol, which is definitely a no no for curly hair. Curly hair. Now, all these things, I think they basically dry out your hair, but let's continue watching the video and then see. My hair is normally curly, but since it's been straight like this, I thought the curly hair method wouldn't apply to me. But it does, it applies to anybody that has textured hair. There's different type of curls, like 2B curls, those type of curls. I'm not going to be going into that because that is not applicable to me. But just let you can know, maybe you can go and research what type of curls you have. So basically what something is, is it's a detergent. It's used in your body wash, it's used in your laundry detergent, and your dish detergent. It basically... So sulfates basically strip your hair, guys. They're used in cleaning products, I didn't know that. They dry out your hair, they're used in dishwashing liquid, um, just cleaning products in general. So we want to stay away from soft products typically. So, so we want to be avoiding silicones as well. Okay, so the reason why you want to avoid silicone is it basically coats your hair and doesn't, um, it keeps water away so your hair doesn't frizz out, fr uh, frizz. But it also um, keeps moisture from getting to your hair since it's coated the coats your hair. If you want to get the silicones out of your hair, you want to use a sulfate shampoo and sulfate dries out your hair. So you're putting on silicones to keep the frizz out and to have your hair looking shiny and all that. But then you have to use sulfate shampoo which dries out your hair and causes your hair to be brittle to remove the, the silicone so it's basically like a vicious cycle that you're going around other parts of the curly girl method is not using heat on your hair which is, can be quite difficult because although i have curly hair i love having my hair straightened because i feel like it looks neater um, i can control it better so that will be a struggle i'm not sure i'm gonna apply the curly girl method to my hair but I'm gonna try and see how I can improve the health of my hair another girly girl method is not using a standard towel um, bath towels okay so for a beginner like me the curly girl method I'm definitely not gonna to be applying everything but it will be a gradual change because anything without sulfates doesn't foam up it doesn't lather when you wash your hair so it doesn't feel like you are cleaning your hair properly that will be a problem because i love it when i my uh, when i wash my hair and i feel like it has been nicely soaked up i'm not too sure that is very good for my hair so that is something that i, I will have to uh, remove get used to or adjust to yeah okay so now the curly girl method we have the basics right we have the basics we can start there and as we go on we can incorporate we can go into depth research more um, I'm one of the ty those type of gals that just jump in with both feet and do let's quickly measure the front and then the middle and then the back so that I can see if there's any growth with the rice water that I'm using What I've also noticed with the rice water is that my hair doesn't, um, it doesn't really knot. Because I have a very sensitive scalp, I don't like it when people touch my hair or pull my hair or I just get hurt easily, easily especially combing my hair. That's why I don't like going to the salons. I love the outcome, but I, I, I have a very sensitive scalp and not everybody really understands. That's the most salons are really accommodating when I tell them because I, immediately if I go I tell them I have a very sensitive scalp so they should just please uh, work not carefully but with caution <laughs> so 
Can I say that? I don't know. But anyways, yeah. I don't allow anybody to do my hair. I don't. Um, I do my hair myself. The front, front strand is 23 centimeters. So it's this long. I'm not sure it's this long. Yeah. <laughs> my front piece is 23 centimeters. Let's see my back. I'm actually pleasantly surprised with the the um with the the rice water the way it's just making my hair feel it's nice and soft it's um it doesn't look that bad because normally my curls are way they like even worse than they're not worse curls are good curls are beautiful but my curls are more coiled than this and since I've started using rice water uh, my curls are slightly removed which i actually like some people love the curls um, but i'm not really i don't really like the curls that much my back hair is 17 centimeters right right guys see it doesn't even knot there's not a lot of knots i think i'm going to continue with the rice water so what we want is a piece in the middle of the hair. I'm basically filming this before work, guys. We still like 25 minutes before I actually have to start. So this is the middle part. As you can see, so you guys can definitely see that my hair is textured no heat has been applied i haven't styled my hair at all and i'm actually very pleasantly surprised i would definitely recommend the rice water okay i can't recommend because i've just been using it for two days but that's why i love the um the outcome. <laughs> So my middle part is 29 centimeters. It's quite long, really. I thought it was like 10 centimeters. <laughs> the perceptions that we have sometimes and the reality. Yeah. So my middle part is 29 centimeters. Um, I'm, I'm going to continue with the rice water and then we'll have a check in, I think about a week from now. Because seven days and then 30 days, right? If you haven't subscribed yet, you know that you know the jazz. Subscribe, comment, like, guys. Like, um, I've seen that majority of my viewers are people who are not subscribed, guys. So subscribe. I'm gonna be showing beauty hacks, oil cleansing hacks, a weight loss journey, just lifestyle content. Subscribe, and I will be seeing you guys on the other side.